Hey, hello. Here we go. We're playing Mega Man X still. Or uh, Cody is. I'm observing. Yeah, we're gonna go fight Spark Mandrill. And the go. R kind of looks like an A is we're turned sideways, so it's like Spark. Spark. Or Spark, I guess. We're gonna go kick his ass. So if you can look at this, you see the Storm Eagle shit fucking crashed in here, in this power plant level. Oh wow, that's kind of cool actually. Yeah, this game's really cool. And that's what causes the power issues like this. Mm -hmm. Is Storm Eagle? No, it's or... his fucking ship broke the power plant. So it's it's kind of like, oh no. Oh my gosh. If you notice, the uh, little glass tubes below my feet don't have electricity running through them either. Thank god, that shit looked annoying as hell. <laughs> it is a little bit, but it's it's fine if you're paying attention. But that's probably why I wasn't good at it. So here's what I was talking about is the problem. Is whenever the power goes out, you can't see diddly shit. Like, you can move and you don't know where you're at. Dude, that buster upgrade looks mean as shit. You mean the double helix of death? Yeah, the double <laughs> helix of death. <laughs> so that's usually the tactic, is whenever you move, shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you usually get them. Not that bad, really. Nope. Not a pretty, pretty sound tactic, really. Yeah, earlier I didn't use it because I, uh, I guess I wasn't desperate enough and in the dark. But mm -hmm. now I'm desperate um, to not like die here, cause I don't I don't like like I like the stage I just don't like dying here. Yeah, Does that make wrong. sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes plenty of sense really. Cause it's like a fucking Billy Hatcher. Like you just don't. Did you ever play that? I had the demo for my oh. GameCube. I've never. Oh, that that game's pretty great. I have to say, like I I remember liking it a lot, and it's probably still like pretty good. Like like. Usually I'm scared to revisit games. I I'm excited to play that again. Billy Hatcher. Yeah. There's just one of those, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the only the GameCube game, mm -hmm. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. That game was fucking like, it was just a neat idea. Like, like it, it was. Just, it just it, came there out. There was of nothing blue. really like it. Yeah. There still is nothing really like it. Uh, I mean, there's like Katamari, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But I think Billy kind of still on his own though. Well, Billy's like Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg was like a platformer slash like collect to, to like giant eggs. Yeah, and then there were boss fights. Like, yeah, there was boss fights. And some of well, that game got dark too, cause like uh, also, oh my god, I did it on the first try. Wow, go me, hell yeah. Also, like I don't know if I'm making some of these parts look easy or if I'm making them look super hard, but I'm not the best at these games, but. I can beat X1 at least. <laughs> That's what matters. Yeah. Like X5, I've still never beaten X5. And I love X5. I play X5 a lot. I always just get to the Shadow Devil stage and I can't. X6 is the one where you have to like save the the little robot people. They're the ones that will I think it's X4 your... and forward. Which ones are they going like, hell? X4 help. and forward. And you can't get a hold of them, they turn into ghosts and they come after you. I don't remember them turning into ghosts, but that's probably an X6 thing. That's the one I remember the most, because I remember, like, you know, screwing up and not being able to save somebody. I just remember, then, uh, on, like, X4 and 5, it'd be, like, Innocence or whatever, and they would be, like, 4 out of 6. And you're just like, two people died on my hands. Yeah. Like, also we're here. <laughs> Spark Mandrill. You know, this guy, he goes to a lot of raves. <laughs> also, he's a punk bitch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I would be so pissed off if I was Spark Mandrill right now. What are you talking about? We're just chilling. Oh my gosh. We're just chilling. We're just cool guys. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. Huh? I said he's dead. He's dead. He's dead as shit. And I even took damage because I'm a chump. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> you need to cool off. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to the bank. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to like a shitty one liners. I got the electric spark. Yay. Yeah. So uh something that's really fun is uh I like a lot of Mega Man. And Mighty Number no. Nine, I still kinda like it, but like I it frustrates me so I don't play it. And I haven't played it and I'll probably play it sometime, but one thing that bugged me the most was like, I was like, alright, we recorded it, that's fine. Editing that was a nightmare. Because every time the game loaded, the audio desynced. 
like the game audio and the video would be like off. <laughs> like Just... I'm not talking about like our mic sync. Like the game audio file, like that was with the video, like it was off. Like straight up, like in most games, you record it, you pull it, and you put it on something, mm-hmm. and you put it in the timeline on Premiere Pro, and it's fine. It's like lined up on game audio. No. <laughs> It doesn't work like that with Mighty Number no. Nine. Every time the game loads, it like adds a second of pause between the loading screen. So every time, the fucking shit gets fucked up. So we're gonna go after Armored Armadillo, who has the like every freaking stage has like awesome music, but Armored Armadillo's is just rad. Do you remember it? I think so. Um, it probably won't sound too great, but I'm gonna turn up the volume real quick, just so you can hear it. Yeah, I do remember this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me turn it back down just to... Oh, because I don't... I really don't want to mess up the sound. Because, like, when we played Watch Dogs, uh, we had the sound just barely... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes if you don't jump up fast enough, you'll be stuck in the momentum of the cart, and when it flies backwards, you'll go backwards into the hole. So, uh... Ooh. <laughs> that makes up for that, man. Yep. There's also the big bat down here, too. Because here's the one I was... Nope, nope. It's that one. Yeah. That looks like a classic enemy. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure that's from classic Yeah, anime. yeah, yeah. Because it's got that, like, that stupid Met face. Yeah. Also, I love the Mets. Uh, even though, like, because of my, like, Battle Network days, I know them more, like, as Metters. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've grown to know them as Mets. <laughs> Little hard hat guys that we'll run into very shortly. Okay. Let's I go. remember, uh... Sorry, hold up. Okay, sorry, yeah. you good. <laughs> I remember playing the. So this guy's gonna get fucked up. Yep, he's dead. What's <laughs> up, tank? tank? Yep, we're doing it. Continue. I don't even remember now. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you let that guy like keep going, he'll bust us down. You can't get these health up or health bits. And uh, if you have full health, that gets your sub tanks up really big. Makes you feel like a big boy. <laughs> Also, instant death spikes. Staple of the Mega Man series. Yeah, that's one. Especially X. I don't remember about Classic. But Classic. Yeah, they had a lot of those yeah. in Classic. <laughs> they, I uh, think they had more pitfalls and spike traps. Well, uh. Mega Man 8. Uh, what was the the Bat Dude? I want to say his name was Dark Dizzy, but I think that was an X5 boss. Yeah, because Classic. You talking about Classic Mega Man? Classic Mega Man. Mega Man 8. Yeah, um. um there was a. He had a space-themed level that was fucking crazy. You had to use that missile to uh, get all the, like, the secrets in his level. I'm trying to think of a bat-themed guy from Mega Man 8. He was I remember either one in Mega Man 7. It was either like bat or like Shade Man. Like, it was kinda... Shade Man. Okay. But I remember him being 7. I remember it was Mega Man 8 that I'm talking about. Cause, uh, uh, look, look up Mega Man 8 bosses real quick. Um, but I remember it was Mega Man 8 because I'm pretty sure on the title screen it would be like, Mega Man 8! Like, I was like, what? <laughs> Do you remember the first stage by any chance? No. Okay. I, I played Mega Man 8 so much, I know the first stage. I just remember there was a rocket, like a, you would be orange and you had like a controllable rocket weapon. Remember Mega Man 8 had like Clown Man and Search Man? Clown Man had a circus level, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that level sucked. And then there was Grenade Man. Yeah, Grenade Man! Then there was Frost Man. I'm oh, trying no. to remember his name. Also, here we are. There's also a duo. Also, do you like... Th- I love this background of how it's all perspective out. Because, like, it's really, like, unique to, like, a fucking X, like, boss room thing. Yeah. So now his armor's broke off. the shell. Yep. So now he's fucking dead. Because now I can shoot him when he's rolling about. Which is useless now, I mean. Yep. Boom. Boom. Uh, there was also Tingu Man from <laughs> Mega cool. Man 8. Fucking Tengu Man. There's Astro Man, there's Ooh. Sword Man, Search Man, and Aqua Man. How many fucking bosses are there in Mega Man 8? The standard 8? Oh, I thought you just read like 12 names. We were talking about other bosses as oh. well occasionally. Oh, okay. And I remember you fought Bass and Treble. You did? As a, at the very near the end of it before you fought oh. the Green Devil. I, I never, I never like got halfway through that game. Because I suck at classic Mega Man. Because, <laughs> like, you can't just damage boost and, like, dash through everybody if you're having trouble with them. Mm. You can damage boost and then maybe get hit on your way through them. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, Shade Man was bald too, I think. Can you look up a picture? That's what I'm okay. trying to. Yeah, I saw the right I now. saw the wiki ad that pulled up. <laughs> uh, I can't remember 100. percent Yeah, yeah, he wasn't really bald, but he had like the, the that, that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Shade Man. Yeah. Send me that the the picture of him like no. suited up, just in case. Like I don't, I'm not able to remember what who. Yeah, if I'm, if, I'm I got put, you. if I'm putting the pictures on the video, I got you, man. You picking up what I'm putting down? Picking up what you're putting down. You, uh. I'm putting the ham in that sandwich. I was about to say, you <laughs> farking my knuckles. Like, <laughs> just say something, like, gibberish. Like, also, I, even as a kid and now, I, this sand, like, like tile mm-hmm. set or whatever, like, it, it kind of freaks me out. It kind of hurts my eyes. Like, it looks like it does not belong. It, uh, so, as a kid, did you ever play with those, like, tubes that had, like, it was, like, sealed off with, like, water and glitter in it, and it was, like, find Elvis, and there's, like, this little, like, floating Elvis oh, in it? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, did you ever go to Graceland as a kid? No. Okay. Well, I whenever I went, I got this little, like, fucking plastic tube that was full of water, uh-huh. or oil, because I want to say it was oil, because, like, it, uh, it's... It's still clear to this day, so I don't think it was water. All right. Um, and there's just, like, glitter and, like, shiny, like, metallic-looking objects floating about. And there's this, like, laminated cutout of, like, a silhouette of Elvis floating in it. Okay. And you just, like, tilt it, and, like, it slowly, like, falls. And, like, you have to see if you can find Elvis in the midst of all the shit. That's crazy. Yeah, but uh, there are little beads in that that, like, kind of look like the sand here. Um, also... Here's the fucking dude that gets me the worst. All three variants of this guy in this level. The little submarine guy? Yeah. The little I like yellow how it's submarine. just not like a submarine. It's a submarine dude. Because <laughs> he's got angry eyeballs, it looks like. A, it looks more like an angry fish monster. It does look like an angry fish monster. I don't remember what it... Oh, it's got a fin, actually. You see that? Yeah, they're on the side. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one down, three to go. Uh, if I can remember to... Oh, I don't like these guys. Or I, I like these guys in terms of like design. I just hate dealing with them. Because mm-hmm. they'll suck you up, and if I can help it, I don't want to get sucked up by them. Don't they swallow you too? Isn't yeah, that they'll, thing they'll, they Well, like, do? they'll, they'll uh, put the... They'll, like, hold you in their mouth, and then, like, they'll just kind of, like, hurt you. It's kind of like a, a... Oh, shit! <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> I guess what? It's time for next time on Couch Challengers. We will see you guys later. Later.